So as long as you're comfortable with that uh, concept, we can go ahead and test this. And what should happen is when we have a key up event happen on this search input field, we'll grab the search term, which isn't relevant at the moment because we are passing it, but we're just returning this value here. Uh, the, the text from search.php uh, should then be returned into this div. So let's go and try that out. I'm just going to type in A and nothing's happened. So let's check why that might be. Um, let's have a look in. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we are. So now we um, now we've just I've just corrected that tiny mistake there. Uh, we can go ahead and test this out again. So I type A, and you see we returned the value from search.php, which has come from search.php. So now that we know we can return data, the jQuery code is done, and all we need to do now is search the actual database. Uh, and return or the database table and return the values which will then be placed in here. So we've actually done the majority of the, uh, the application we just need to go ahead and implement and combine PHP to return these results. So the first thing we want to do is require uh, the database file which is db.php and in here we need to go ahead and connect to our database. So we're going to go ahead and use MySQL connect and we're going to connect to uh, a MySQL server, which is localhost. My username is root, and I don't have a password set. Uh, we then need to select the database, which is jQuery. Uh, remember, our database over here was called jQuery. We then want to close that off because we're all done here. And we, we're obviously requiring it into this file uh, so we can make use of it. Now, the search term variable uh, can be picked up inside search.php. So the first thing we want to do is check whether this is set. So we use the isSet function and we check if dollar underscore post, much like you'd do if you were passing variables from a, an HTML form to uh, a PHP file. Um, and this is search underscore term. So if that is set, that means that we have passed this variable to this page. Then what we can do is just redefine this variable with a few security measures. So search term is going to be equal to dollar underscore post search term. And we need to apply some relevant sanitization to this variable. And the reason for that is we're going to be querying our database and SQL uh, injection would be possible. We're also going to use HTML entities to remove the uh, remove any XSS issues we might have because we're going to be returning, uh, as you saw in the example at the start of this tutorial, the value uh, that the user has been typing. And we don't want any, you know, any of our page to be uh, manipulated in any, any way. So the first thing we want to do is apply HTML entities. And this will just take uh, HTML code and return it as an entity. So the MySQL real escape function, uh, real escape string function around this uh, will also help to prevent, well, will help to prevent in some way uh, SQL injection. Okay, so now that we've done this, we want to go ahead and just quickly check if the uh, search term isn't empty or not. If it's empty, we don't want to perform the query. It would be a waste of uh, resources. So if not empty, search underscore term, then we can go ahead and actually perform the search. Uh, by this I mean if I was to press backspace, I don't want the query to then be performed. So inside here, we can now go ahead and echo out search term just to test the functionality of this. So we're passing this variable. PHP is then going to pick up this variable and return what we've typed. So now you'll start to see uh, a more dynamic um, a result returned to us. So let's go ahead and type in A L E X and you can see that the value is returned each time to us. So now that we've seen this we know that it's working uh, and we can go ahead and perform the search query uh, and then actually uh, return the results. So I'm going to create a new variable called search and this is going to be a MySQL query. Now the query is as follows it will be select place and description uh, because we have a two fields that we want to return, which is place and description, and this is oh, this is from uh, places. That's the uh, table name just here, and the condition is where the where places like. So we're matching it to the likeness, and this is where the search function 
uh, comes in uh, like search term now I've surrounded this in percentage signs and this just means that anything uh, before or after this as long as something matches so for example if we were to type in CH it would take this and it would uh, ignore all of this I guess you could say ignore but uh, it basically searches within uh, somewhere if you use these uh, you can use these on their own uh, but obviously for the purpose of this uh, we want it to search the whole term uh, and not match anything else um, so like I said at the start of the tutorial this isn't going to search for multiple keywords uh, we're just performing you know some basic search functionality okay so now that we've done that um, we need to return our result count so result underscore count is going to be equal to mysql num rows uh, this will return the amount of rows uh, that this query returns uh, so for example if we to, if we were to search for ch uh, this would be returned in manchester and then chorley uh, so this uh, function would return uh, two. Uh, we obviously need to supply this with the original query and then result count would equal two. So we now have our result count. Uh, 